Hello, welcome. We're working on credit card interest here. And the premise is that you've made a minimum payment on your credit card. So you pay the smallest amount possible where you won't have to pay any penalties, any fines, but there still will be interest. And there'll be interest on your remaining balance, the part you did not pay off. In this case, it's $2,110. Now it depends on the card, but we're assuming this card has a 30 day billing cycle. And on the 16th day, you make another payment, right? So the billing cycle is not over. Usually you pay at the end of the billing cycle, but you're going to pay ahead of time. You can always do that. If this credit card has an APR of 5%, okay, so that's the annual percentage interest rate, in an annual billing cycle of 360 days, so they're assuming there are 360 days in a year, which you might do because that's a multiple of 30, so it fits nicely, what will the interest be? at the end of this billing cycle. Um, round your answer to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so I'm going to add a word after I edit this, but say the monthly billing cycle. All right, that's a little, I realize now it's a little unclear because I'm reaching the annual billing cycle. So we're looking at the end of the monthly billing cycle. So what do we do? Well, we start off with 2,110. And for the first 15 days, because something changes on the 16th day, we're having interest build up on this amount. So we're going to basically take that and multiply it by the interest. What's the interest? It's 5% divided by 360. That's why I named this number over here. So 5%, take 5% divided by 100, that's 0 0.05, divided by 360. And that's the little bit of interest you'll be getting each day on this amount. And that'll happen for how many days? Well, there are 30 days in the billing cycle, and you don't do anything until the 16th day. So for 15 days, this is what's going to be um, building up in terms of interest. Then something changes. In the second half of the billing cycle, you make a payment. So you take the $2,110 and subtract 1,055. And whatever that amount is, that leftover amount, you do the same thing. You multiply it by the interest, which is building a broken up daily times 15. Now this is a very precise calculation, but this is still called estimating. And that's because this is really just a simple interest equation. We'll look more at the exact nature of credit card interest and compound interest soon. But right here, you should just know that the simple interest and compound interest over the course of a month are really, really close, right? Over the course of a month. So now let's calculate this and see what we get. So we can just kind of plug this in. I'm going to clear off my calculator. Boom. So 2,110 times, I'm going to put parentheses even though I don't need them, 0.05, that's 5%, divided by the 360 days. Multiply that by 15, and then add the difference, right? We're looking at 2110, move this over, minus 1055, 1055, that's our payment, times 0.05 over 360. And I did not put parentheses there, so I'll do that. We can go back, hit second insert. There, that just looks better. You don't need parentheses because the order of operations tells you, in this case, what to do in the exact order you want. But I like to organize everything so if I make a mistake, I can find it. So 6.59375. So nearest hundredth would be $6.59.